Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the channel. Obviously, as you can see, Chelsea 4, Manchester City 4. And man, listen, what a performance. What a game to start with, guys, yeah. Look, I'm not going to complain about that game whatsoever. Um, at the end of the day, yeah, we had chances to win it, but this is more in the mentality change of Chelsea Football Club and, you know, what we're actually turning into because we're seeing positive things, you know. I mean, we've just went up toe-to-toe, -to -toe, yeah, against the champions, you know, of how many times in a row they've won the Premier League now. And we've gone and scored four past them, you know. We've showed real grit. The amount of times we went down, we just got back up. You know, kept fighting. This is the Chelsea we want to see. And it's amazing to see. It really is, you know. No one could fault Chelsea's performance today. I thought we were great. Phenomenal performance, you know. And listen, we're walking away from that, you know. Unlucky not to get a win over them, you know. That goal that Rodri scored, nasty deflection off Silva. That's unlucky. Unlucky stuff, do you know what I mean? It happens in football. Um... But there were some top performances out there. There really was, you know. And it's annoying we didn't get the win. But at the end of the day, we got a point. Everyone thought we were going to get battered. And Chelsea proved everyone wrong, you know. Brilliant performance. Um, first of all, yeah. Big up Cole Palmer. This guy, yeah. I told you lot, yeah. Ice cold Cole, yeah. Remember the damn name. £40 million looks like a steal. An absolute steal for this guy, yeah? Do you hear me? Steal. Ice cold. Ice running in his veins. Steps up for that penalty to make it 4 all in the last two minutes against his ex-club. An academy prospect of theirs. Slots it. Top left. Put some damn respect on this guy's name. What a player. What a player. And I also want to big up Thiago Silva. Because yes, it was a dodgy deflection. And that, listen, it happens. But other than that, the guy was flawless. That header, the flick from the front post, get in front of his man, just glance it. It is quality. Thiago Gold. Thiago Gold, man. Come on. Brilliant. I'm ecstatic with that performance from Chelsea. We have proved against these big clubs. We can go there, yeah. We can go against these big clubs toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and we could be the better team. Arsenal, we were the better side, you know. Tottenham, Rashtam, City. Yes, it was more of an even game. But, man, we gave it to them. We played, we played for that badge. We really did play for that badge. We really did, guys. You know? And it's lovely to see. Fucking love it. Come on, not them oil merchants, bro. I love it. Chelsea Football Club proving everyone wrong again. Everyone was against us in this game, as they are every game, yeah, because the agenda against Chelsea, as you know, thrives. We had Anthony Taylor as the referee, yeah, this bald looking Voldemort, yeah, this B Tech Voldemort. Hold that. Because this guy done everything he could to try and screw Chelsea Football Club, yeah? That thing of Kukurel and Haaland. For a start, Haaland starts grabbing his T-shirt first, yeah? And you give that shit and they didn't even look at the Doku situation with Reese, yeah? What a joke. This guy got demoted, yeah, to the championship. And he went to the championship and gave a penalty that wasn't even a penalty. And you bring him up for a game like this. You cheeky guys, man. You tried it. You tried it. But guess what? It didn't work. It didn't work. Because Chelsea still prevailed. Yeah? Hold that. And you know what, guys? I'm going to be real now. You look at our league position. It doesn't tell the story. Because some of these games, Arsenal, we should have got three points there. 
If we're being real against City, we're unlucky not to win that. You know, we really was. There was chances to be had that. Carl Palmer scored, could have scored two. You know, that one when he just went in and out, all of them, man. And he just didn't have the balance to proper get a strike on. He just had to sort of toe poke it. Which is unlucky. It's unlucky at the end of the day. Um, yes, there were some dodgy performances in there. Like, for me, I think Enzo had a quality first half. I think he was good the first half. I didn't get the fuss about his first half. I thought he was great. The second half, okay, he weren't the best. But look, Chelsea fans, stop pinpointing shit on one player. Let's, let's stop the agendas, yeah? Because at the end of the day, players are going to go through rough spells. They're going to go through purple patches. It happens to the best players. Yeah, let's get behind this team because they're showing they can go toe to toe with the best team in Europe in that fact. Yeah, and the treble proves that. They've gone and went toe to toe with them, and we could have went and won. You know, the amount of times he went down behind, you know, City got in front, and we dug deep and we got back up and rose to the occasion. These are things we missed from. This sort of new Chelsea we've seen under these new owners. But I love what I'm seeing. I love it. We might have Spurs 4-1. City now. What a performance. I know it's only a draw and people are going to say you're acting like we've won. Listen. For the way we are now, we're in the start of this so-called process, you know. And look at this performance, man. I mean, I'm right to be gassed up with this. Do you understand the pain us Chelsea fans have gone through? Love it. Love it. I think Caicedo had a great first half. The second half, again, he dropped off. But I want to big up my man, the match. My man, the match. I'm going to big him up. I've called him Lucas Aid Lungs in the past, yeah? And I think I was, I think I was in my own right to say that. But look, bro, I can't deny what I'm seeing right now. I don't know what's happened to this guy. But he's just... <sighs> He just exploded this season. Really has. Connor Gallagher. Oh my days. This guy was on fire. Non-stop. This guy was pressing immense. And his passing was finally A1. It was quality. His shots he was taking. I want to see more of that. He was just levering it at that keeper. He hit some real strikes. And then, you know, Jackson wouldn't have got that goal for, for Conor Gallagher and that strike. You know, phenomenal man. Non-stop. And Pochettino has to get bigged up for that. Because he's trusted Conor Gallagher when a lot of Chelsea fans didn't. He's threw him in this season. He's been starting most games. And he's been performing. His engine is unreal. But I've always said with Gallagher, I know he gives it 100%. And I love that from him. But it's just about him now... Keep finishing, like, tidying up them final balls, you know, he's shooting. And he's doing that. I'm loving what I'm seeing. And if this carries on, give the man a new contract. I can't believe that's coming out of my mouth, but give him a new contract. You heard it here from me. Give him a new contract, man. I don't care. Reese James as well. What a performance. What a performance. He's looking back to his best, this guy. You know, a big up Potter taking him off early, bringing on Gusto, making sure he don't get an injury. You know, it's vital for our season. So, a big up to Pochettino for that one. Raheem Sterling, another top, top performance. You know, there was times I was getting a bit frustrated with him where, you know, I think the ball got played through to him one time. It looked like he could have been in on goal and all he had to do was take an easy touch and he fumbled it. But at the end of the day, I've always wanted this for him, you know. Get the ball, take on your man. You know, that's what he's the best at. That's why when I'm so frustrated with this guy, he gets the ball and he just dilly dallies and runs into traffic. It's like, come on, chance what we saw at City when you're getting the ball and you're just driving that man, you know, causing trouble. Big up to Raheem Sterling today, you know? Big up to him. Big up to him. Obviously, big up to Nicholas Jackson as well. Look, I know people get frustrated in with him, you know, in this game, and so was I. But at the end of the day, he's a striker and he'd done what he needed to do. He got the damn goal. So I don't care about the performance. If you get me them goals, I'm cool with it. Have a single week in, week out. But if you're going to get me a hat-trick one week and then the goal the next, I'm taking it 
No problems with me. Big up Nico Jackson. Big up. And big up Broya as well, who came on and put his stamp on the game, won that penalty, which is vital. Big up to him. Some top performances in there, guys. There really was. And you know what? I want to see more of this. Hopefully we build upon this now. We smashed Tottenham. This performance now. I know top four looks unlikely, but let's go for it, man. Let's build on this. We just need to start getting them three points, man. You know, we keep having these games where it's like we should have nicked a result there, but we just didn't get it. But you know what? With time, that will come. We will build as a team. We're playing as a team. You know, we're not just falling down like we was at the beginning of the season when we went one goal down. We're showing fight. We're showing grit. And this is what it takes to play for this shirt, yeah? This is what it takes. But big up the boys today. What a performance from Chelsea today. I don't want no, no negative shit on this game. We played well. We gave it to the champions, the treble winners. City at times were struggling. They were in no man's land sometimes. When we were pressing them relentlessly, they didn't know what hit them. So what a performance, man. I have no complaints. I have no complaints whatsoever. Obviously, an international break coming up, guys. So the content is going to be a bit slower. There's not really much to speak about an international break. If anything does come up, I will upload maybe little videos like this. Um, but yeah, it's kind of annoying we're hitting the international break because we're in such good momentum. We're hitting a bit of form. You know, but it is what it is, guys. But most importantly, guys, please, please, for me, smash that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 300 now, guys. Share with whoever you can, your friends, your family, whoever. And let's try and get us to 300 by the end of the season, people, yeah? Big up. Up the Chelsea as always. We move. Come on. Big up, people. Big up.